Joshua, will you have Esther to be your wedded wife, to live together according to God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and cherish her, and forsaking all other, keep only unto her as long as you both shall live? I will. Esther, will you have Joshua to be your wedded husband, to live together according to God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and cherish him, and forsaking all other, keep only unto him as long as you both shall live? I will. I suppose you call it the start, but it's really just a, a, another big landmark milestone. Um, yeah, it's, it's setting the tone for what, what will come. Like it's been, it's been a great ride so far, and today is uh, bringing together that all and, and saying, look, this is, we want to make a promise together and in front of our friends and family and God and say, this is how we're going to go, we're going to go forwards, we're going to um, yeah, use the marriage and, and build on it and, and use it for something for, for good and for, for the kingdom, I think, that's what I would say. So yeah, in a nutshell. <laughs> It's not necessarily a, a single moment, but maybe over time, just seeing her, her big heart, her just like I said, her joy, even her, her faith as well. All of those things you see more and more. We spend more time. And just went kind of taken aback by her and said, Wow, this is this is this is it, I'm done. The scale's the one. So God of your promise, you don't speak in vain, no syllable empty. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. With my body, I honor you. With my body, I honor you. All that I am, I give to you. All that I am, I give to you. And all that I have, I share with you. And all that I have, I share with you. Within the love of God. Within the love of God. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. So, in the presence of God and before this congregation, Josh and Esther have given their consent and made their marriage vows to each other. They have declared their marriage by the joining of hands and by the giving and receiving of rings. I therefore proclaim that they are husband and wife. That which God has joined together, let not man divide.
not just a prayer that we will know that we belong to a Christian family, but that we will appreciate how rich the family is to which we belong. Rich, of course, not in material things, but in Christ and his truth, in the work of his cross, which brings us forgiveness and freedom from guilt, in the presence of God's spirit that brings us joy and peace. This and much, much more the Christian enjoys because he or she belongs to the family of God. Wisdom in life, you see, consists in knowing what is really valuable. Josh and Esther, you have married into money. The bank of heaven is yours. Your account because of Jesus is in huge credit. And that's the wealth that matters. you ask or even imagine.